Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Fee School. Today we'll be talking about entrepreneurial tips. Whether you want to start a company, whether you want have an idea and you want to share it to the world, or work on sales, I have some ideas that you may find in value. So let's just get into it. Welcome back to another episode of Luke Talks, bros. The first point I'm going to point out is company values. Now what do I mean by that? Well, before you have the idea you want to build, it's good, or even if you're having trouble thinking of what you want to sell as an entrepreneur, think of a problem that people have and then think of a solution for that problem and think of values behind that problem. So what's an example? For example, Apple's about innovation. Innovation and just building things and creating new technology. Facebook's generally about connecting with people. Each company has their own values and that's where you want to start and then think of what the problem is and then think of a solution with your product. My second point is working on your speaking skills. It's obviously very important to have confidence. When you are speaking to someone and interviewing someone or um, whatever the circumstances is, you can see in interviews that like the CEOs that we see on TV and in the media such as Mark Zuckerberg and Elon Musk they always have their shoulders back they always have their arms in front of them when they speak and it's important to show confidence it's also important to listen listening to what other people have to say or what people need listening is key when becoming an entrepreneur it is very important Point number three, have a very specific target audience. So if you appeal to everybody right when you start what you're doing, you're going to probably get overwhelmed. But it's important to have a specific age group or kind of general audience who has a specific interest and try to appeal to them. If you try to appeal to everyone, you're, it's not going to work out. You can say that Amazon does that, or Facebook does that, but in theory they still, when they started it out, they still had a specific audience. Amazon started out only selling books, and then they started selling more things, and now they sell pretty much everything. But when they started in like the early 90s, they only sold books. And Facebook, it didn't used to be for everybody, it used to be only for college students in Harvard, Stanford, and a select few of other schools. So start with a small specific audience and then slowly build your way up, but don't make too many new products at once. Okay, number four, my fourth point is maintaining energy. Now this is one I have struggled with a lot, but it is important to figure out ways to maintain your energy. As I talked before, cold showers can help you a lot maintaining energy. And if you see those motivational videos talking about online, like saying, if you want to be successful, you can't sleep. That's, that's, that's BS because having a healthy circadian rhythm is very important. Everyone's different, but understanding your sleep cycle and going to bed when you think is appropriate for yourself and waking up getting a full eight hours is very important. Having a great metabolism also very important and this can all lead to good energy. I think that wraps up this episode of Fee School. So two things I wanted to bring up. First, thank you guys for watching my channel and I uh, am really happy that people are starting to enjoy my videos. I've hit 50 subscribers and I'm happy about that. I like I like my little community that I made around my YouTube channel. But my brother 
Hound, Logan Feast, has this awesome, awesome YouTube channel. You should check it out. He has 50, 100 subscribers, and he does it. He's really professional in making music. So, if you want to check it out, check it out in the link below. Thank you for watching this episode of Feast School. Have a great day. Welcome back to another episode of Luke Talks, bros.